Hi, Nikita here. The last time I was skydiver was flying in a wind tunnel in front of a blue screen, and I felt that the result looked kind of shabby. So I thought we should go to a proper height, and for this we need an airplane. And I was researching the good ones for skydiving, and this was a good one. Uh, it's the Antonov, the An-2. And actually, I found one in an airplane museum not too far from where I live. And here it is. Uh, it's uh, fully dynamic with many loose parts that are a bit uh, chaotic, but still it works like a real airplane. And uh, like this, it consists uh, of various uh, surfaces that manipulate the plane's aerodynamics. The propeller obviously pulls the plane forward. It's spun by an engine. And we have uh, things like... Uh, ailerons, these things on the wings that control the banking. For example, when the left aileron goes up, the stream of air pushes its wing towards the ground, and at the same time, if the right aileron goes down, then uh, the air lifts that wing and the plane banks to the left side. Uh, similarly, in the back we have the elevator that controls the pitch of the airplane, and uh, it's uh, by going up and down it either lifts or lowers the nose of the airplane. The rudder controls the yaw, so swung to the left, we turn left, and swung to the right, we go right. Um, during the first takeoffs, uh, there were a couple of problems. For example, the plane tended to go to the left, and this is a real-life problem, and uh, can be explained with torque, asymmetric propeller loading, gyroscopic procession, and spiraling slipstream. Super complicated, but in short, uh, when our propeller spins clockwise, it forces down the left side of the airplane and it cannot take off. Now, in real life, this could be solved and fixed with uh, adding right rudder or other things, but eventually I decided to include an invisible mirrored propeller that uh, spins counterclockwise. This was simple, and now we could take off. Uh, I was happy with that, but uh, once in the air there was another issue. It's called adverse yaw, also from real life physics. And you can see it here, it's basically causing the airplane to turn in the opposite direction that it rolls. And this is because the ailerons not only lift the wings, but also introduce drag. And the drag is bigger on the wing, which is lifted by a down aileron. And this causes the plane to slip through the air kind of sideways. The solution here was again to mix in a bit of rudder and to make the ailerons move uh, slightly differentially, or quite a lot differentially. And this means that the upward aileron travels farther than the downward one, and this avoided the drag. Uh, both methods worked and helped, and now we're ready to board.